Hey guys, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today it's stage 21 of the Demon Spawn Faction Wars. Um, just managed to finally complete it. It's taken a long time to get the right team to complete this one. Find this one of the harder ones in Faction Wars actually. So I'm just going to do a brief video explaining the team I used, how I managed to do it. And yeah, so we're um, this is this is a an end game team. You're not going to get this right off the bat. So you you need Duchess. <coughs> Duchess is the only um, revive in the Demon Spawn. So you really need that revive. Otherwise, you can't do it. And the other two key players are actually Kaimar's pretty key. Um, they're all key to be honest. But I would say Umbral's probably the MVP. She really kind of shines in this one because the hardest part about this this um, encounter is the second wave. Where there's like three Valkyries, so <clears throat> I'll just quickly go through um, my stats to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> I've got Kratraxa here, she's a beast, she's um, built up to like nearly 6k attack, 309 crit damage. She's um, doing the most damage by far, in terms of actual you know, direct damage, there's a lot of damage coming from poison in this as well, but um, yeah, she's an all-star in this too, so that's her ability. She doesn't. She's not super fast, she probably be better if she was a lot faster actually <clears throat> I've got her geared out for my um for my arena team so I don't need her much speed but she's worked she's done it for me um to do who was next we have yes we have the Duchess so she needs to be fast um I've got her 256 speed just now um <laughs> I've not even leveled up the the boots on here so I can get that way higher but yeah 256 speed right now so it's managed to work and then just loads of health and some decent defense really so uh, I need to level up the gear on this this uh, champion. I've not done her used her for a while, so um, but yeah, that's that. So that's her. Um, oh, sorry, going out the wrong menu. To do who was next? Um, we're using Umbral. That's not the right Umbral. That's the one for the. I've got two Umbrals. I've got a leveled up one. So she's a beast. Um, I don't have her in great gear here, and I still managed to do it. So I need to level up a lot of these pieces. But she's at four point two defense, which is fine. Crit rate and crit damage could be a bit better. Um, she's at good accuracy. You need accuracy for this. So 326. You want her to land those block buffs, really. That That's the main thing she's used for in this this second part of the, the fight. And then a bit more health would be handy, which I can get when I level up my gear. And 127 speed's way too slow. Um, need to get that way higher. But I've got her in full defense gear. But it still worked for it, so it's no problem. But I would say it would make it a lot easier if you, if you ran her in a faster gear. Um, in fact, I wonder if I just got a pair of boots. I could chuck on her right now in the accuracy that her speed. No, I don't. It's fine. It, it worked for me anyway, so I don't need to do that. Lastly, no, not second lastly, Erin, yes. She's a massively underrated champion. I use her in Dragons, I use her for Clan Boss, and now Faction War, she really helped here. Um, so she's running at crit rate and crit damage. Well, crit rate to 100%, you really want. Um, nearly 5k attack. And. Defense is quite low. She does die, but you've got the revive and some decent accuracy on her. Um, again, I need to level up her gear and stuff. But I still managed to do it. She's uh, she's got the poison on her A1, which is reliable, 100%. And she's also got this increased debuffs on an AOE, which is super handy for the, for this fight. And she's got a block buff, so all three abilities are actually really really important. And who was the last we had? Uh, it was Kratraxa, Duchess. Doo -doo -doo. Should be able to remember this. Um, oh yes, Prince Kaimar, that's right. So Kaimar is a beast. He's my arena Kaimar, so I could totally revamp him for Faction Wars, but I didn't. So I didn't want to muck with his gear. But he's um, he's at like 4-4-3 accuracy, 100% crit. You need that 100% crit for his poisons. 2.4k defense. Again, not that I leveled up the gear yet. I could uh, get a ton more accuracy out of this, this piece here. and Not that you need it for Faction Wars and some more stats, but... So let's just go ahead and try and defeat this one. Right, we're just going to auto it just now. This first wave is pretty easy to be honest, especially with this team. Look at the damage Kratraxa does there. She normally kills her in a one or actually, so that's quite slow for her. But um, what you want to do is like auto it just for speed purposes. And then we'll take over in a little bit, maybe about 40 seconds once the damage has been done a bit and then because what we want to do is go into the next round with as many skills available to us as possible but I think probably now is a good time 
So as you can see, Umbral's used her um, Provoke, so it's two turn Provoke with block cooldown skills. Um, really, really strong ability. That's pretty much what wins you this fight because you can uh, take a lot of pressure off the rest of your team. So we're going to put poisons on this guy here. So you really want to maximize your efficiency in the, with this uh, team. So as you can see, he's got quite a few poisons on him, so he'll probably die from all those poisons on that health. So rather than pumping more damage into him, we'll put it into the martyr and we'll try and get them both to the sort of level, because I'm going to put more poison here on them, where she'll die from the poisons as well. Um, I want to save this, but I, th I think that'll probably come back up in time, so I'll do that. So that should definitely kill the martyr now. When they actually take a turn, just to be safe, put in another hit. And then I'll start piling some damage into this one. See, as you can see, you maximize the... If I put more damage into him, he was going to die anyway, so there's no point. So you really have to maximize the, the damage you do in this. I'll put another one on her for good measure, because they are quite hard. And then we should be fine to kill her next time she takes a turn, and this martyr will die off pretty quick. There we go. Right, we're going into the next round with a good, uh, a good setup. So, yeah, probably could have done with um, actually that being up there. That was a mistake I made. I shouldn't have used that because that would be handy right now. Because we do have one slight problem here, and the Valkyries are a little bit faster than my Umbro. Because really, what I want to do is put block buffs on all these guys so they can't buff themselves up with a counter attack. Um, but if I use this here, what happens is it puts buffs on your champions. So because of Valkyrie's passive, that lowers all our turn meters. So in, in a way, this might work out to my advantage. So I'm just going to attack just now and see how quick my Umbral is. Not quick enough. Um, but what I can do here, actually, is I can put them all to sleep. Which I didn't do last time. That makes a big difference. And then I might be able to get around the the counterattacks this way. Because last time I actually took the first round of counterattacks, which is fine because um, I survived them, but then uh, Kaimar actually put them all to sleep afterwards and removed all the buffs, so it was fine. But what you don't want to do here is you don't want to attack any of them because they're sleeping and you wake them up, then they'll just take a turn. So I'll just pile some damage into this guy here. Look at that, over half health already. Um, now what, I, what I don't want to do, if I put this thing on right now, that's going to put on two buffs, which is going to lower all my turn meters, and I really want to use Umbral next, so I'm just going to actually attack. Um, I think I've got Evil Eye. Oh, maybe I don't, which would actually have done something too. Um, he's sleeping, but it doesn't matter about him. Put some poisons on them. Umbral's way too slow, way too slow. Right, there we go, that's fine. So what I'll do is I'll put a block buff debuff for three turns. Which is pretty nasty. So that's going to stop their counter attacks coming on for three turns, which makes a big difference. And let Spectral Rebirth get him back up, her back up even. Still does a lot of damage, but I can reset that skill and do this. And that's made a big difference. As you can see, it's a bit touch and go with this team, but uh, here we go. We can put them to sleep now, and that saves us a bit of time. Right, now just start piling on the poison damage, that's how you kill these folk. Mm, I need my Spectral Rebirth again pretty quick. If I put damage into him, he might die from his poisons, not quite. Okay, this is going to be a tight one, guys. Yeah, it's going to be super tight. If I can get the re oh, I can get the rebirth though. Look at that. This is why you need her for your team. She's a beast. And then put this on. I'm going to lower all my turn meters, but it's fine. Hopefully, I've got my um, A2 up on Kaimar. Not quite. Okay, this is a wrap, I think. Yeah, so there we go. Let's try our A3. We never did that last time. Um, this is going to kill Kaimar because he's going to get attacked. But um, let's keep going. I mean, he's going to die when he loses his shield. 
so I'm just going to attack this, this Valkyrie, they're the problem. So I mean last time for me it went a lot smoother than this, but as you can see, because of Umbral I'm still able to do um, all this crazy shenanigans. And her being slow, and she's getting her turn meter constantly put down, so she's it's actually working out really well. She's constantly um constantly unkillable. And provokes are still on, which is nasty. Uh, let's remove that one counter-attack actually and put them to sleep by us some time. And put some poisons on the Valkyries. Let's see how much damage we can do this one here. Can we kill her? Oh, that's pretty close. I put her lie. That might kill her that poison damage now, which it will actually. Again, we're going to wake these up, which is a problem. Not much we can do. Not much we can do about that. See if we can just ride this out and hopefully get the A2. So if I quickly do this, boost her turn meters. Um, Hopefully that she doesn't kill my my okay that's fine, we've managed to get away with it. So let's put them to sleep. Special rebirth. And do 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 let's kill this Valkyrie here. Oh see, Crutraxa does a lot more damage when they're sleeping, so actually this is pretty nasty. As you can see, a ton of damage coming through there. Right, and we're Managed to get through this. It's, I have to admit, it went a hell of a lot smoother than this last time. Um, but we've managed to get through it, as you can see, with the skin of our teeth. So the, the team is pretty solid this way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and ride this out. Hopefully try and get my Spectral Rebirth out before we hit the boss wave. Which will make a big difference. So I'll just, I don't need to damage her, but I'm just going to do it just because I want to kind of waste time. Um, because get the Spectral Rebirth. And yeah, perfect. That means I could get some healing before the boss fight going with full health. So we're in a pretty good position here, guys. This is definitely the hardest part of the fight. So once you're through this, it's uh, plain sailing. Well, not quite. This takes a while. I'm not going to lie, but let's have a go. So um, really here, you just want to pile in the poison damages. Um, you're going to wake these guys up because there's only two guys to attack and you need to kill these two first so just uh, start piling in those poisons like this and constantly putting this up because that's going to give you the perfect veil AoE protection and the boss hits a big AoE um, uh, I'm probably just going to AoE here and increase all their poisons because that's like putting an extra three poisons on in a winner so that's why Aaron Yes is very very good and then do some crazy damage with Crutraxa the buffs don't work here really, apart from the block buffs it does work, but I don't think those little guys put on buffs or, or the boss even for that matter, so just pile on the poisons. Oh, attack the boss there by accident, that was a bit of a waste. We're targeting this guy first. So he's going to take a ton of damage from this next round of poisons. Ah, oh, I keep been targeting the wrong guy. Um, let's see, I don't think this does anything apart from, it might provoke those two, yeah. There we go, She's uh, she does lay a provoke on your guys, which is a bit of an issue, so. But as long as your um, Duchess survives, you'll be okay. Okay, this might mean I can kill this first one. Okay, that's the first one dead, because the poisons will kill him, or her, whatever that special thing is. So I'm just going to start targeting this here. But I've, I've tried so many different combinations for this, this dungeon here. For this Faction Wars dungeon, sorry. So um, this is the only one I've found that really does work. So. so there, we're going through it. Crutraxa doing our damage. More poisons here, that should really help out. I mean, you probably could just auto here, but I'm not going to because I know the auto is pretty terrible. And... Okay, I should have used the eight extra hit there, but I've saved it for the boss, it's fine. 
So there we go, now what I need to do is hit the special rebirth and we're pretty much set to go now. It takes a wee while because she's very powerful but uh, do some crazy damage and put on the poisons and keep playing this and it's pretty much just rinse and repeat. Lots of poisons, just keep an eye on your guys because she can do a fair bit of damage. Um, will I bother? I'll maybe reset that just to get a bit of turn meter actually and just try and get like a group of poisons on her. Because once you can get a good number of poisons on her then you could use the A2 with um, the A2 with uh, Eren, yes, and then increase the poisons and get even more damage out of it. Just maximize. There we go, there's a three turn one. Hopefully a one turn there. If Eren yes can get a turn before the clan boss here, that'd be great. There we go. And there we go, we got four extra poisons there from her. Got another 2-1 from him there, and this should start ticking some good damage over. Um, yeah, we're I'm actually going through this a lot faster than the first time. But as you can see, even Umbral does pretty good damage with her A1, just with the lower health. Aaron, yes, doing some crazy work here. Poisons, more poisons, just keep laying those poisons on. Yeah, she's definitely underrated, Aaron, yes. I'm, I'm going to do a video on her specifically, probably coming up in the next um, couple of weeks. I'm moving house, so it's going to be quite hard to do it just now. Uh, okay, uh, two of my guys died there, so hit the special rebirth button. Uh, block buffs, don't know what that's going to do. Increase the turn meter so I can try and get a turn and do this. And then they're all healed up. And then, boom, four extra poisons. Dead in a one hour. That is how you do 21 demon spawn. So we got a six star health cliff. Flat health, but it's still a six star, best one. Anyway, guys, hope this helped you out. Uh, I've been trying to do this for a while, so I'm, I'm really glad I managed to do it. Please like and subscribe if this helped you out, it really helps me. And yeah, leave a comment below if you think it's any good. And uh, peace, have a great day.